So what do we have here? We have this huge lonicera with oodles of driftwood and the pot broke. This pot is made by a very famous potter. I won't mention his name, but we discovered that when we looked at the pot, this pot had already cracked when it was made, so he repaired it. So I wasn't surprised that the pot eventually broke apart because I think there was a manufacturing defect in the pot. So that was a bummer. Sorry about the expression, but uh, I wasn't very happy with that pot. So anyway, we're going to change that pot. It's a very big pot. And the tree is very big. We are now going to repot it. And probably it'll go in a fairly large pot, but not as big, maybe about six inches shorter. The pot I would reckon is about 70 centimeter long or 75 centimeter long but it doesn't need to be that long so let's have a look and see what we can do and i'm going to record the process of repotting this tree i said a minute ago that this pot didn't have to be that long and to find a pot this size would be quite difficult besides i think aesthetically it could do with a slightly uh, narrow pot. So rather than just tease the roots, I'm going to do the famous cake slicing cake. And we're going to cut it off like that. So if Josh can carry on doing straight that side, and the same on this side, if you can cut away. These, by the way, are such vigorous trees that you can do this with impunity and the tree won't suffer. Surprisingly, the tree is not very pot bound, so it makes the repotting much easier. So, the same thing on this side, Josh, if you can cut away from there about two, three inches inside. And while the cameraman is doing his work, I will start teasing the soil from this side. And you notice that the compost is beautiful compost, which is, I think, like 50% Akadama soil, which is perfect for this sort of tree. In fact, if you use a 50% Akadama mix, you can't go wrong. For the Western European climate, 100% Akadama uh, is a bit, I would say, dangerous because it can dry out too much. But if you mix it with 50% of other material like organic, a material, bark, and that sort of thing. Yes, backside also about an inch mm. either way. There's a double hook behind you if you need it. Um, I think if you can just slightly cut that, that should be okay. Sorry about this time. Yeah. Mm. You need to hold it on that to photograph the soil. almost like a piece of carpet see this is what you can cut off so there's no problem doing that, that okay the piece. next thing to do i think would be to put it on a turntable i will bring the turntable Okay, let's stop for a while and then we'll take another shot because I've got to lift the tree. In fact, 
Joe, if you help lift it, we'll put it on this because I want to then match the pot to that. So although I've been showing so many videos about repotting, every situation is different. Every tree is different. And this is a very, very major tree. So I'm sure you would like to see how this is done. In fact, looking at the tree from the back side, this is a situation where the back side is better than the front side. So I'm tempted to put it in a round pot. No, I'll go for an oval or a rectangular. So let's go and choose the pot. Okay, right, so now we're offering the pot up to the tree. Oh yes, that's more than enough. In fact, it's a bit too big. I think the pot? I think it's a bit big. I've been looking quite critically at this tree and this tree could be enhanced no end by lifting the right hand bottom branch that right hand bottom branch is hiding the beautiful trunk to quite a large extent and it's making the tree a bit unbalanced so I'm going to remove the right hand branch and uh, you will see the improvement it will create just hang on a minute and I will show you what I mean right this tree is a bit overgrown so I'm just giving it a bit of a haircut. Now these species, or this is Lunisra nitida, which is a hedging plant, they can stand this sort of pruning because this is how you would deal with the hedge. And because this plant has become too big and too weighty, it is causing a problem. It is bouncing about and it won't do the tree any good in the long term. So one has to be really meticulous with the pruning on this tree. Otherwise you lose control of it. So this is what I'm trying to do. This is only a rough prune. I'm not going to spend the next two hours pruning this while you film it. Because this is how long I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend two hours just pruning this tree carefully. Besides, it's so low that it is touching the floor. And that, I don't think, is a good design uh, option for this tree. In fact, I should go in and do some structural pruning as well. So, okay, okay, that gives you some idea as to what I'm going to do. All right, so after about four hours of work and just trimming the ends like this, going around clipping just the ends of this lonicera. Can you see the amount of just ends we've clipped? And we have also removed a major branch here which was covering the base. So you can now see the trunk. And this is the end result. And by changing the pot, the tree looks completely different. If we can show you the original pot, that was the original pot, 